Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Mary Johnson lost her restaurant job in late 2008. With no unemployment benefits, she's living on food stamps and doing odd jobs. Sales and a lots of cleaning work. Some Floridians will soon need a lesson in survival from Mary. At the end of the year, three federally funded unemployment programs are set to expire, and they'll leave thousands of Floridians with no income. We estimate approximately 100,000 Floridians will lose these benefits on or around December 4th, and approximately 40,000 per week thereafter. A stalemate in Congress is causing the benefits to expire. Lawmakers could reach an agreement in December to reinstate some of the programs, but with Congress making a right turn with new members in January, any extension could be short-lived. At issue is borrowing $12 billion to extend the programs. Republicans say we can't afford it, but they're also anxious to pass $200 billion in tax cuts for America's wealthiest. In the meantime, state business taxes are tripling to pay for the unemployed. It'll be difficult for many businesses to um, afford that kind of an increase at a time when they'd probably rather be spending dollars hiring new employees. The tax won't come down until Florida's unemployment rate drops. Labor statistics released Friday show the state's unemployment rate stagnant at 11.9%. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.